בוקר טוב. הנוף של הכותל, איפה זה? יש נוף מלמעלה לכותל? זה לא מפה? אוקיי. So with all my time here in my knowledge here, I think I, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and I went down a street, a side street that I, that got me lost. But maybe we can work it out from here. Anyway, I came off the Jaffa Street someplace. Good morning, everybody. But this way you get to see a little bit of Jerusalem and actually a very special spot right here. And I hear there were recent uh, publications about uh, the ancient walls of Jerusalem. And this has been exposed for a long time, but there was something new revealed relatively recently. And I'm trying, ah, maybe I think I'll go this way here. I think I can get corrected. There's a very interesting uh, view over the the uh, western wall, which uh, I often use at night time for the German one on Friday evenings. And I just had a thought since today is Friday. And we have some Jewish friends also participating just for the sake of the, uh, the greetings of Shabbat to go there now. Maybe I'll go there this evening for the German one, who knows. I can't decide those things. Why can't I decide those things? Because there are things outside my control. And actually that's more or less what the message is today from these readings of uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, Kohelet. And there's a time for so many different things. And there's a time for sunrise and sunset. And the time for I can't change them. <laughs> it's not in my power, in my hands, to alter that course of things happening. Here you see all these little, little alleys. Imagine moving furniture, moving house here. Hello. I got. Ah, yes, good. It's good. Uh, shukran. So now I know where I am. And maybe we'll still be on time for some of the sunrise. And there are people here praying already, I can hear them. So all these different times in life for being born and being and dying, this is an amazing reading, touches the existence of humanity. And when you ponder it, uh, you wonder, oh, there's the the Dome of the Rock. So we're... You know, I think we're the exact place I wanted to get to. And we got to it by a different, a different route. And the sun hasn't risen up to visibility yet. So we're on time. Yes, I think we're good here. This looks familiar. Well, a lot of people down at the Kotel, maybe it's because of the new year. A lot of people down there praying in the early morning as the sun is getting ready to rise. Yeah, we made it to the right place. It's rare not to find somebody here. Morning, Bokor Tov.
So this is quite the site here, the Western Wall and the Dome of the Rock all together. Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Mount of Olives with so much Christian memory. You can see the mountains of Moab in Jordan right from here. So there is the plateau of Moab behind the Dead Sea. What's fascinating about this reading from Kohelet is the human being's presence in the world. First of all, observing everything that's happening. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to be silent and a time to speak. Better hold your word there, don't say anything right now. Or speak up, tell us your opinion. A time to seek. And a time to lose. A time to sew a garment and a time to rend a garment. time to sow a field, to plow, and a time to harvest. And these things we can't really control. And there's a good time to do it and you're looking at the weather and waiting for the conditions. Waiting, that's a word that fits in here very well. So as the human being observes, the human being learns that there's certain things you can't force. You can't force a flower to open. If you do, you damage the flower. There's such a bounty given to us and also we're within limits. Maybe today humanity wants to ignore limits and do whatever it pleases because it feels good or because I do what I want to do. And the wisdom of recognizing the times for things. The sun is just visible actually over the Mount of Olives here in a little crack.
There you can see the sun itself, the sun disk. I imagine you heard the horn for prayer. And now the sun will gleam off the dome of the rock. We live so close together, such diverse people learning to live together. What a challenge. There's obviously a deep connection between this thought and what we read yesterday, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. And here we feel a little bit the weight of the frustration of the human condition in this text. When we match it up with the psalm, it's really amazing. The discovery of the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. So all the movement of time, like the waves of the sea, or the flames of a candle or a fire, or the clouds along the sky. Can you hear the horn in the distance? Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust. So all the waves can keep flowing in the sea to the shore. All the clouds can keep crossing the sky, although we have a cloudless sky right now and a little sliver of the moon above us waiting for the new year to start. I don't know if you can see the moon up there. Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. And yet, blessed is the Lord, my rock. And maybe this evening at Mass we'll come into a bit more about the Gospel reading, about the path of suffering, that said with such determination and such sense of purpose. So even in the face of all the futility, we have been blessed to discover the rock even during times of suffering, times of difficulty. There in the center of the screen, the very center of the screen, you see a spire on the Mount of Olives, and that's the Tower of the Ascension. 
Mount of Olives has a lot of meaning for memory for us Christians. I'm trying to figure out if it's where the sun is coming up exactly. We have. I'm trying to find the tower of the, our father. Oh no, it's actually. I see it now. It's actually right beside this tree. So the, this tree, you have two towers. No, it's another tree <laughs> to the left of it. So I just put my finger in here. Let me see if I can get in front of the camera. Oops, there's my finger. So, well, we have that big cypress tree in the very center of the screen. And immediately to the right of it is the Tower of the, Our Father Church. To the left of it, you have some trees, and then you have the Tower of the Ascension. And there we have a Christian memory. And obviously with the Dome of the Rock and the Alexa Mosque, to the left and to the right, uh, we have the Muslim presence. And then we have the Jewish presence here at the Western Wall a wall of tears as well and so we're all facing our life together in a world of changing circumstances and how we can build on the Lord our rock and we share that great faith in the one creator God who is provident and merciful and we pray for that possibility of being together of living together of sharing this life circumstances together. Many blessings today from Jerusalem. We do our little selfie moment.